Good afternoon, good evening from Cuts at Home. We're here with our specialists uh, from St. Petersburg, John Doolittle, and from uh, Santa Monica, California, Laurel Cousins. Take it away, John. Hey, hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Just a quick reminder, uh, armbands up all the way into your armpit. Have them pre-staged, ready to plug in. And remember, we want to pull these things nice and snug, but not too tight. I should be able to fit a finger under there, okay? It's tight, but I can fit a finger under there. Go ahead, turn the cycle 2.0 on by pushing the middle red button, and the word cycle will come up. And then we go ahead and we just plug in. And as soon as you're plugged in, go ahead and press group and low. And that starts your cycle. And just a quick, uh, quick daily tip here. Um, throughout the workout, whenever Laurel gives you a nice break, go ahead and give yourself a, a break from the base pressure if you're using Aquavans, if you don't have this device. Give yourself a periodic break from the pressure. Um, Take your pulse throughout the workout and see how high you can get your pulse. You'll be pretty amazed how quickly and how fast it'll get with Katsu. And uh, lastly, um, experiment with untethering towards the end of arms or untethering towards the end of legs. That's all I got. Thanks. Let's, uh, let's go get some, Laurel. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. We've been doing a lot of hard week, hard week, hard work today, and I see a lot of familiar faces. So awesome job, every guy, um, guys. Welcome to Thursday. We've got a good workout going today. Um, if you have not already started your cycle, please do so. And we know the rules always have water on hand. So with that being said, your body, know your limits. My exercises, my program are just suggestions. And if something doesn't feel right, back off, take a modification, or just take a pause. So with that being said, let's jump on in. Um, we're gonna start with some stretching. Start to reach your arms up and overhead. And then as you do this, I'm gonna come down to my knees, you can see, tap opposite shoulder blade behind you. So you're gonna reach all the way up, bring them down, and then bring them up and tap opposite shoulder blade back behind you. Just moving through some circles, range of motion here to open up the arms and the shoulders. And we go down. Good. Couple more. And while we're doing our stretches, I'll announce this again at the end, but I want to do it while I remember. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be doing a slightly different workout. It's going to be 50% of the normal butt kicking stuff and also 50% of stretching and mobility work. Doesn't necessarily mean easy, just a little bit different because we want to balance out the body and create a lot of length amongst all this strength that we're building. Good. Arms out to the side. Take your right arm across the body. Get that tricep stretch. You pull the right shoulder back. And then go ahead and switch sides. Left arm across the body. And release it. And then bring your arms out to the sides like you're a cactus or a scarecrow. And start to reach your arms all the way up as straight as you possibly can, reaching through the fingertips to create resistance. So bringing them down, elbows all the way down to sides, and then reaching all the way, taking as much bend out of the elbows as you can, starting to feel those bands working. A few more. And I want you to think about good form here. So as we reach our arms up, we want them to be in line with our ears, no pitching forward. And down. And last one here, reach those arms all the way up, resisting, spreading the fingers. And then bring them down into the 90 degree angle cactus position. And we're gonna to start to rotate palms down and palms all the way back. Palms come down, palms come all the way back. And as you're doing this, being mindful that your elbows stay in line with the shoulders, we don't want sleepy elbows because we're not really getting into the range. And I feel these, these are kind of intense for me, opening up the shoulders and down. We'll take two more, palms up, and palms down and roll it out release those on instagram if you've not checked your cap refill yet those on zoom if you want to do it again you can hold up your hand press 
see if you get from white back to normal color within three seconds. And if so, you're on a great setting, let's keep going. So starting, arms to legs, smaller muscles to bigger, bigger muscles. I call these forearm starfish. I made it up myself, yes. Yeah. So we have our arms out, and then I want you to make starfish with your hands, the big, you know, extending all fingers, grip. Out, in, okay? So we're gonna keep our elbows glued in. We have two 30 second sets. First one's slow, first one's fast. And as you do it, I really want you to engage the muscles of the fingers, which also work up into the forearm. So first 30 seconds, start with fist, and let's go out, in, out, in, out, in. So think about the movement being really explosive. Reach, grab, reach, grab. That's the step, half done. Good. Now flip your palms over to face the floor, keep going. Last 10 seconds, out, down, out, down. We have five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. All right, right into the second set. This time we're going fast, out, in, out, in. Still explosive, meaning full movement. Ready, palms facing up to start, make those fists go. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. We're squeezing. Yes. All right, now go ahead and flip the palms over opposite direction, keep going. Last 10, woo, I feel these. Four arm starfish. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Always important to get our heart rate boosted, even when we're doing the arms. We have our three moves. The first one is butt kicks. You're just kicking back. The second one is called inchworms, a little bit more complicated. We start at the back of our space. We walk all the way out. We walk all the way back. And we roll up and either clap or jump and clap. So we walk all the way out all the way back up so you can get a little jump at the top and our last one is just to jog in place we're running if you have a big enough place you can run around but we want to keep movement going fast okay first 30 seconds butt kicks let's go and if you want some arms too you can start rolling them maybe you can even do it with arms overhead All right, if you're rolling your arms opposite direction, last 10 seconds, get those heels up. We have five, four, three, two. Release the hands, release the legs, walk to the back of your space, inchworms, and we go. Walk it out. Come into plank, shoulders over wrists. Walk it back. See if you can jump, clap, or just step up. Either way, move it. Get the arms working, the core is working, the legs are working. And I really like inchworms when we have the armbands on because we get to feel that little extra pressure, that tension in our muscles over here. Let me see if we can get a jump at the top. 10 more seconds. Walk it out. Walk it back in. See if you can do one more. We have five, four, three, two. Come on up to stand. Let's run. I'm going to run around. Why not? <laughs> you can run in circles, you can run backwards, as long as you're moving, getting those arms and those legs pumping. Last 10, fast, 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 think all out sprint. Go, 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 go. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on down to sit. Next exercise, tricep press. Fingers facing back towards your heels, press your butt off the floor. Now, keeping your hips up, bend the elbows, down, up, down, up if you were doing two 30 second sets. If you want more of a challenge, legs are straight. Down, up. First set, go. And if it's too much on the shoulders or the wrist, you can press yourself up and instead drop your butt and lift. But in an ideal world, we're working the arms with that little bend and extend. Half done. Let's check in and see who we have in the room. All right. Major. Nice, John. Cool. Perfect, Bonnie. All right. Last five. Four, three, two, and rest. Roll the wrist out. Roll them out the other way. If you are in need of extra spice today, we're going to come back down. Tricep dips. This time, maybe do it with one leg lifted. Down, up. 
okay? If you choose that option when we're half done, I'll let you know and you can switch the legs. So 30 seconds, let's go. Hips up, maybe lift the leg up, down, up, down, up. Squeeze those glutes, keep lifting your butt up, feel that burn in the backs of the arms. If you're doing single legs, switch your leg now, I'll lift the other one. Yes, hips up, hips up, squeeze, fully extending those arms as you press yourself back up. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come down to sit, roll them out. So we did something a little similar to this. I think it was on Monday, it's called the Arnold Press. They were just doing an overhead shoulder press. So just like we would do with weights, and you have two options here. You can either root your feet into the floor, which is a little bit more stable, or if you want to work your core while you're doing this, pick your feet up and press. Press. Now, your upper body should not move. Okay, we're doing two 30 second sets of those. No variation between the first and the second, except for if you want to try and grow a little bit smaller to engage the core, you can. So, first set, either feet are rooted down or feet are off the floor. We press up, down, up, down. And we practiced doing this when we were stretching. So we should be able to get our arms all the way straight or up towards straight. Make this. Press down. Press down. Squeezing like heck. I like it. Last 10. Maybe you have the opportunity to pull the knees in even more. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. All right. Big breath. Let it go. Second set, feet up if that's your choice. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down. Maybe pick up the pace here. Up, 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 and press. Still keeping the resistance in the body. Lift, lift. Hopefully feeling those shoulders working, the arms working, everything is pumping together. Last 10. If your feet are off the floor, keep them up and keep moving. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake it out. Hop on up. Heart rate boost. This is the last time we're doing the heart rate boost with the band. So let's make it good. Butt kicks, 30 seconds. Go. If you need more, add the arms. Roll in. But it's not knees to chest. It's heel to butt. So we're opening up the fronts of our legs as we're doing this. If you're rolling those arms, opposite direction. Woo, even faster. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and release the arms. Walk to the back of the mat or the space. Inch worm. Walk it out. Walk it up. Jump. Clap. Walk it out. Walk it up. Either jump or stand. Big clap at the top. Congratulate yourself on your work well done. We are half done. Yes, making sure to reach the arms up at the top, wherever you are, finding contact between the palms. We're opening up the shoulders as we're doing this. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, hop on up, let's run. And this time, for the running, I'm cool with you getting your knees high. It's kind of hard to run in place and get it to be a difficult position unless your knees are up. So get those knees up, get those arms going, we're racing. And please don't run like this in real life. <laughs> Last 10, fast as you can go, all out sprint. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab a sip of water and I'll demonstrate our next exercise. I call it forearm plank around the world. I made up a bunch of stuff for today, it's really fun. So we're in a forearm plank. And we're gonna lift each limb individually. So I go left arm, left leg, right leg, right arm. So it's reach, lift, lift, reach. So we're going around the world, one direction. So starting left, left, right, right, first set. Second set, we're gonna go right, right, left, left, okay? So make your way into that nice forearm plank, shoulders over elbows, 30 seconds. We reach with the left arm. Lift the left leg up, lift the right leg up, reach with the right arm. So we're going around in a circle with our movements. And if this is not working in forearm plank, by all means, feel free to drop your knees. Half done. 
Now, if you want to pick up the pace and make it fast, go for it, but make sure that you're getting the limbs off the floor. Yes. Good job, gang. Last 10. Nice job. Good. No, don't stop. <laughs> we have five, four, three, two. Rest. Come up to sit. Roll them out. All right, let's jump right back into it and go the other direction, back into your forearm plank. This time starting with the right arm. We reach with the right arm, pick the right foot up. Left leg, left arm. Fast as you can go, move. But I still wanna see your shoulders and your hips in one long line. No sticking your butt up or sagging your hips just in the name of a good forearm plank. It's just not worth it. We're working the shoulders and the chest. We're working the legs and the glutes. We're half done. Keep going. See if you can make it even faster. Punch, lift, lift, punch, punch, lift, lift, punch. Last 10. Woo, that's good. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop the knees in five, four, three, two. Good job, everyone. Roll out the wrists, roll out the shoulders. We have our final exercise for our arms, and then we're going to swap the bands out. So, very important. We do a lot of rounding in our spine in our daily lives, reading, texting, driving, working. We want to open up the back and build the muscles of the back of the body so they can support our spine. And so we come onto our bellies. And the first thing we're going to do is called a super, we'll go with human. We got ladies and gentlemen in the room. We go up, down, up, down. So that's our first 30 seconds. Our second 30 seconds, we're gonna lift everything and swim lifting alternate limbs. So first set, coming onto your belly, arms and legs at the same time, and go. Mm -hmm. And I want you to keep finding length from the tips of your fingers back towards your toes the whole time to take some of the weight, the pressure off the low back. And if you can't quite get your arms straight, that's fine. Just try and get them off the mat. As you continue to lengthen the elbows. Awesome. Last 10. Gaze is down the floor. Back of the neck is long. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Pull your butt back to your heels. Quick child pose. Let the spine bend the opposite direction. Good. Start to make your way back onto your belly. Reach the arms forward, legs back, lift everything off the mat, swim it out, lifting alternating limbs. No floppy limbs, keep them long, keep them active. Your moves should be no bigger than one inch. And please take note that we are still breathing here. Sometimes we all tend to go <gasps> when we move really fast. So keep breathing, keep kicking, keep swimming. Imagine you have a shark on your tail. 10 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Better to move here, even if it's slow and small, than not move at all. We can all do this. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone on your back, knees into the chest, drop side to side, release your back. Now, while we're down here, release the feet into the mat. Start to reach your arms directly up and back behind you. And I want you to try and get as much of your arm in contact with the floor as you can. So think back to the hands, think forearms, and even the back of the shoulders. And now, Californians, I know this is hard for you, but imagine you're making a snow angel. So start to bring your arms down by your side, and then bring them all the way back up behind you, reaching as much as you can. And I'm gonna check in to see if we're doing it. So we're just making little snow angels, bringing the arms down, and then bringing them all the way up and back. And sometimes we have trouble keeping the backs of our arms rooted into the floor as we do this. Try and keep them there. Keep pressing the backs of the hands back, working through that range, challenging yourself to help open up the shoulders. Good. One more. Now, just like we did in the beginning of class, bring your arms into that 90 degree angle. Think scarecrow or cactus. Do your best to get the backs of your forearms onto the floor. Sometimes it's hard. Now, pressing against the floor the whole time, start to work the arms up towards straight. 
Yes. And then rebend them. So it's on the floor. Work them up towards straight. And rebend them. Take two more. Each time, see if you can get the backs of your hands even closer to the floor. Work through that range. Take it slow. Mm hmm. Last one. All right. Go ahead and bring your arms down by your side. Pull your knees into the chest. Give yourself a big old squeeze. And then rock and roll two or three times up and down along the spine until you come right up to sit. And we're going to take this time to drink water, swap our bands out, ask questions, and say encouraging things. Steve, I'll let you take over from here if you have any announcements. Or John. No, and it's very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, if anyone has questions too, like Laurel, why did we just do that? That makes no sense. Ask me. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Or <laughs> if you want to do a variation or something harder or something easier, also ask, feel free to ask her. Yep, that's why I'm here. I do these workouts for you guys. So let's start by putting our band standing for the legs, if you can. Hop on up. Little unintentional balance practice. And as we know, pulling the bands all the way up to the innermost part of our thighs and then angling the tubing part up towards the hip bone. All right. We are all set. Everybody grab your water. Let's take a sip together. Cheers. Okay. Now, now we're ready. And just like arms, legs, we go smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So let's dive into the calves. We're gonna do a jump rope, which I know we jump rope yesterday, but today it's with a slightly different purpose. The purpose is to spring off your toes, really point them at the top, and try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Hop, hop, so we're getting into the calves. We're gonna do one set of normal jump ropes, and then the second 30 seconds, we're gonna try doing a single leg, like jump rope dancing. If jumping a rope is too hard on your joints, just do heel lift up down, up, down. Otherwise, 30 seconds, get your rope, get your heels up, let's jump. And my challenge to you is don't let your heels touch the floor once in this entire 30 seconds, even if that means it's a little bit slower, a little bit more wobbly. We're doing this to really work our calves, and the heart rate is kind of a byproduct of that. So think about the intention of the exercise. Five more seconds. Woo! See if you can jump even higher for the next two. We have four, three, two, rest. Nice. Quick calf stretch. Step the left foot forward. Step the right foot back. Glue your right heel down to the floor. So sometimes it tends to sneak up. Keep it down and then bend into the front knee. You should feel a stretch across the back of your calf. And the more you bend into that front knee, pushing the back heel back, you can get into it. And if you have a wall, you can also press into a wall. Or imagine you're pressing into a wall. Little deeper bend into that front knee. All right, let's switch sides. Right foot forward, left foot back. Glue your heel down. Bend into the front knee. Imagine you're pressing a wall away from you to really activate the back of the left leg. And if you can bend deeper into the front leg, do it. All right, release. Come on up. Second set of jump rope try the dance see if you can do it on one leg at a time we're going heels still stay up <laughs> and even better if you can do it without moving your torso very much well then you're just firing then you you can just quit for the day you win no please don't do that last 10 Heels up a little faster. Dance through it. We have seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Shake it out. Alternating lunge tap back. I am in a bent knee position. I go tap in, tap in. So I kind of like the name skiers better for these. We're staying low. The lower you go, obviously, the harder it is. Notice my back, my upper body don't move. Okay, first 30 seconds. Step your feet, hips distance apart, feet are parallel. We tap back in, back in. If you want more of a challenge, reach your arms forward. Time's going. And the modification for this one is smaller tap if it feels scary to reach that far back with the leg. Nice. If you choose the arm option, see if you can get your arms up in line with your ears. It's been something we've been practicing today. You got it, Bonnie. It looks good. Nice, Diane. Good. Awesome, John. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. For the next set, you can come into that bent knee position, tap back, hover, drop. Tap back, hover, drop. So see if you can get a little balance in there. Each time you do it, get lower. 30 seconds, go. And this is not for boosting our heart rate, it's to build strength. So checking out, letting go of the speed and instead creating that intensity in the body, using your old muscles, getting your bottom, 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 even closer to the floor. That's it. Now check to see if your torso is moving. Last 10, engage the core, engage your glutes. We have five, four, three, two. Fantastic. Everyone come up to stand. Then step your right foot back and bend into the front knee, drop your hips towards the floor to get a stretch across the front of the right hip flexor and the quad. And the heel is up this time. So think hips down, chest up. All right, let's switch. Other leg, hips down, chest up. Getting a nice stretch across the front of the left hip. And then go ahead and release. Let's get our heart rate back up. 30 seconds, butt kicks go. Option to add those arms. Yes. And circle the arms opposite direction if you're still doing arms. Yeah. Go Camille. Jeff, I can just see your legs, but your legs are moving. Kaori okay, looks good. Last five, four, three, Two, inchworm, back of your space, walk it out. Walk it up, jump to clap. Walk it out, walk it up. Let me see you jump. Okay. So a lot of what we've been focusing on today is getting our arms lined with our ears. So as you reach up for that clap, really get the arms straight. None of, no sad clapping, powerful clapping. Half done here. Then we're gonna go into jogging. See if you can do Three more. Yes. Last 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone come up to stand. Jog it out. Light on the toes. Fast with the lift. The arms. Go, 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 go. Think about where you might be running to. <laughs> Last 10, fast as you possibly can. Sprint, 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 speed, go. Get those knees up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. We've been priming ourselves with the lunge work for another variation of a lunge exercise, but it's on one leg. It's called a single leg Romanian deadlift. And if balance is a bit of a struggle, you might want to come close to a wall or just know that it's a patience exercise more so than anything. So I step my right foot back and I think about my right hand. Bending into the left knee, I hinge forward, reach towards the floor and come back up. Now your spine's gonna wanna do this. Don't let it. I wanna see one long line from the back of your heel to your back. I hinge and come back up. 
And the more generously you bend into that front leg, the harder it's gonna be. So step your right foot back, first 30 seconds. Right foot back, right hand comes forward. Doesn't matter if you touch the ground, bending into that front knee, hinge at the hip, and rise. And hinge, and rise. See if you can keep the back foot from touching the floor. Mm -hmm. Little deeper bend into that left leg, engaging your core here to keep your back flat. You look good. Worst case scenario, you kind of bop down on your hands and you wobble a bit. Building a lot of strength in that left leg. See if you can bend it even deeper. We have 10 more seconds. Nice. Good. We're going to go right into the other side. In five, four, three, two. Come on up. Step your left leg back. Start to dance the toes off the floor. As you bend to the right knee, reach down and come back up. And my little secret for balance here is keep your gaze down at the, on the floor about two to three feet in front of you the whole time. Uh, keeping our gaze in one spot really helps with balance. And that's also true when you're standing up. If you stare at one particular thing, it helps. Last 10 seconds. Think about how you're squeezing your glute on the way down and as you come back up for stability. So we're squeezing and we lift. Good, last five, four, three, and two. Everyone come up to stand. Walk your fingers down your legs. Hamstring stretch, pedal out the knees. And I saw some wobbling going on as we were doing this exercise. However, I would way rather see wobbling and effort than giving up. So awesome job, everyone. We have one more set of these. So let's step the right foot back. Bend into your left knee, get low. Hinge your chest forward and then start to drop your hand towards the floor and come back up. So my left leg does not move. It stays bent the whole time, 30 seconds. Let's check in, see how we're doing. Now think about your hip bones being squared off the floor. You don't wanna let one of the hips start to lift. You wanna keep those two beams of light shining down, nice jet. Quentin, I can't see you, but I am sure you're doing it. Cassiopeia looks great. Yes. 10 more seconds. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good. Good, Kyle. We have five, four, three, two, and come on up right to the other side. Step your left foot back. Noticing if you're touching the floor and kind of pushing yourself back up. Don't do that. Control. Down and up. Down and up. Cool. Instagram, keep going through it. You're doing great. Awesome, Bonnie. Nice day in. Kayleen, you've got it. Good. Last five seconds. See if you can do one more for four, three, two, and one. Everyone come up. Pedal out the legs. We have our last set of cardio boosts. And then we've got a few more exercises and we'll take it down for core. So knowing that this is the last time that we're gonna do our three cardio moves, let's give it all we've got. First 30 seconds, butt kicks. Option to add, rolling arms. Light on those toes. Really work the arms if you're going for it. Woo! Arms the opposite direction, rolling arms. Good, we have 10. Last five, four, three, two. Inchworms, back into your mat. Walk it out, walk it up, jump. Walk it out, walk it up, jump. Awesome. Good, getting those arms up and overhead as we come up to the top, opening up the shoulders here. Working the legs, the arms, and the core. Half. Done. Keep moving. Yes. See if you can do one more for six, five, four, three, two. Up to stand and we jog. Last one. Move it back. Get those arms going. Get those legs going. I like to do it with fists because my arms are even more activated. 
maybe running forwards, maybe running backwards. <laughs> Last 10. Go, 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 all out sprint, get into it. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay standing, shake it out. Grab water. Everybody together, cheers. All right. The name of the game today has been shoulders and balance. So we're gonna keep working balance. We squat, kick, squat, kick. I don't care how high you kick. It could be a squat, tap for all I'm concerned. As long as the leg is going out to the side. Now we're doing this for strength and not cardio. So in an ideal world, we would squat, hit that leg all the way up to the arm and set it down. Squat all the way up, set it down without toppling over. So first 30 seconds, let's do it. Squat, kick, squat, kick. That's it. Mm -hmm. Making sure our chest stays up. Beautiful. You guys make me so happy. Cool. Nice, Camille. Go, Clinton, go. I don't know who Swole for Life is, but that's an awesome name. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Take your hands to your hips, drop side to side. All right, same thing. If you're needing more today, hands behind the head. Get low, this time take elbow to leg. Get low, elbow to leg. 30 seconds, go. Mm-hmm. And if you have your hands behind the head, make sure you're pressing your elbows out. We're not doing this, straight spine. Look good, look good. Nice guy. Last 10, get those butts down. We have five, four, good Kyle. Three, two, and one. Our next exercise is actually something that I took from Pilates training. But it's incredibly good for us. In our daily lives, we move forwards. Sometimes we move backwards. But we don't spend a lot of time actively moving side to side. But these muscles of the hips are incredibly important. It's the largest group of muscles in the body. So we're going to give our hips some love. So everyone, come on down to your side. Check your cycle. And you're going to start on your forearm. Now, making sure that your elbow's underneath your shoulder. I'm going to lead this exercise with my hips on the floor. If you're needing more, you can come up into a forearm plank, getting your hips up and doing it, okay? So it's pretty simple. We're just going to point the toes, and I want you to lift your top leg up as high as you can, and then set it down. Up as high as you can, and set it down. Now, keep going. As, this, as we work through this, our butt is a little bit more heavy than the rest of our body. It's going to want to pull you back. Take your top hand to your top hip and make sure your hip stays back the whole time. So we're not rocking back. We're gonna work into it in 10. See if you can go even slower, work through that range. For five, four, three, two. Lift that top leg up and hold it. Now, imagine you're tracing a dime with your leg, baby circles. Engage your core, pull that top hip forward even more. We have six, five, four, three, two, freeze. Up an inch down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. This is the last thing we're doing here. Make it count. We have eight, seven, six, five, straighter leg, four, three, two, lift all the way up, squeeze that leg like heck, lower down as slowly as you can for four, three, two, and one. Good, make a fist, get into that space. One more thing to do on this side, and then we'll switch. Pull your knees into your chest. So I want a 90 degree angle between my belly and my thighs, between my calves and my knees and in my, in my ankles, okay? It's called fire hydrant, you'll see why. We open the leg up, close it down. Open it up, 
close it down. Again, making sure that my hips stay stacked the whole time. Up and down, up and down. And each time you lift, see if you can squeeze out a little bit more range of motion with the top leg. Squeeze your hip like, hip like heck, gain some strength. We have four more. Yes, three, keep pulling your heel in towards your butt. Two, lift the leg and hold it. Now imagine there's a book on the bottom of your foot. Press that book away an inch, in an inch. Add an inch, in an inch. We have eight, seven, small as you can go. Six, five, four, three, two. Kick that leg all the way straight. Keep it flexed, little lift. Last thing here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift all the way up, lower down slowly and come onto your back. Windshield wipe your knees side to side to release your hips. We're gonna do the other side. All right, make your way over onto the other side. And I'm really curious what folks think about this stuff when we're done with class. Feel free to let me know if you love it or you hate it or you're like, whatever. It's a little different than what we normally do, but it's just as good for us. So making your way onto your left form, you can either stay with the hips down or you can press up into full forearm plank if that's what you need to do today. Point those toes, top leg up and down, up and down. Good, check the hips. Check to make sure elbow is underneath shoulder. None of this business, keep them stacked. Up and down. Good, we have six more. And four. Three, two, lift and hold it. Baby circles. Trace, I don't know, a speck of dust on the wall? Make them even smaller. See where you can engage your glutes and your core to help you get that leg even higher, making that move even smaller. We have four, three, two, lift that leg up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, eight and seven, six and five, last four, three, two, lift all the way up, Squeeze, lower down, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, last part of our series. Fire hydrants, all the way up and down. Up and down, keep going. And as you're doing this, keep pulling your heel in towards your butt. So we're also working the hamstring as well. Awesome, yes, you guys are natural at Pilates. Who knew? Good, last four. Three, two, lift that top leg, hold it, press the book, away an inch, in an inch, add an inch, in an inch, eight, seven, six, five, pick that knee up higher, four, three, two, fully extend that top leg straight, little lift, up, up, outer edge of your heel, pulse it, see if you can pulse it even higher for six, five, four, three, Two, all the way up, lower down slowly. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Everyone make your way onto your knees. Rock your hips side to side. And we're not gonna get off the hook that easily. We're gonna do some burpees and then we'll come down for court. So up to stand. Two 30 second sets. I jump up, come down, jump back, push up. Jump up, up, jump back, push up. Modification, I step up, step up, either jump or stand, step back, step back, drop my knees, push up. First 30 seconds, go for it. And I'm gonna be checking in. We're doing two 30 second sets. I wanna see you moving for both of them. So pick a sustainable pace, Kyle is flying. Mm-hmm, perfect, Diane, awesome. Kayleen and friend, you guys are like a well-oiled machine. You're in sync, you're doing all at the same time. Last five, four, three, two, come up to stand, shake it out. Wiggle it around. All right, woo, give those shoulders a roll. Everyone come up to the top of your mat or your floor space. Final set of work exercises before we come down for core. 30 seconds, burpees, go. Up, back, 
jump up and go. Good job, Instagram. Woo! Keep going, gang. Last 10. See if you can do two, if not three more. Go, John, go. Chris, I can't see you, but I know you're doing it. We have five, four, three, two, and everybody come down to sit. Root the feet into the mat. Swish, swish your knees side to side. 30 seconds eat for each exercise. First one, we have fingers to toes, lift and lift. Then we have double leg lowers, down and up. Then we're gonna do what's called a roll up. So you come to sit, you roll all the way down, and you roll all the way back up. So I'll be walking all of us through each one. First 30 seconds, on your back, legs are up, head, neck, and shoulders are up. Little lift, fingertips towards toes. 30 seconds, we're moving. So, the reason I like exercises with my legs up and my arms up is because when we lift our legs, we work the lower part of our core. And when we lift our shoulders, we work the upper part of the core. When we're doing the move like this, we are firing every part of our abs. Also, if you're pushing the ceiling away from you with your heels, hint, hint, you're getting a hamstring stretch. Keep going, keep going. Good, last five, four, three, two, rest the head, neck, and shoulders, both legs down. Both legs up, both legs down, both legs up. Making sure that your lower back is rooted into the floor the entire time. If it's lifting, that's too much of a bend on your spine. Pull your core in even more. These do not have to be fast, but they do have to be good. Last 10. Good, keeping those ankles glued together, even squeezing your inner thighs to help your core out here. In five, we're gonna pull the knees into the chest and give ourselves a big hug. We have four, three, two, and one. Grab your knees, pull them in, rock side to side, release your back. And then start to rock and roll up and down along your spine for the last thing we're doing today. I love these because they're a stretch and a core engagement exercise. Everyone reach forward into an active hamstring stretch, get deep. Now, rounding out your spine and the state shape of the C, roll down one vertebrae at a time, all the way onto your back. Now we've been doing shoulders today, so reach the arms all the way back, tap the floor, then reach the arms up and roll all the way up and over. Everyone take three more. Lower you can go, the better. Sink lower spine, mid spine, upper spine, tap the floor and come all the way up. Two more. And as you do this, try to use the strength of your core instead of momentum to get yourself back up. After this next rep, we'll meet seated, legs are long. Everyone come on up to sit. Pull your left knee into your chest. And take right elbow to left knee for a spinal twist. All right. Switch sides, right knee into the chest, twist over. You can do whatever you want with your back hand. I like to push the floor away from me to help twist a little bit deeper. And then start to come back through center. Take the soles of your feet together, butterfly stretch. Give your wings a flutter. Root the right hand into the mat. Reach the left arm up and over. Swoosh, big rainbow. And let's switch sides. Come back through center, take your hands to your shins, roll your shoulders up and around. And then bring your palms together and give yourself a big old round of applause. Nice job, everyone. Reminder, tomorrow we're doing 50-50, half cardio strength work and half stretch and mobility. This class is for you. If you have any areas of your body that you would like to stretch or explore, you can use a little help with, 
give me a shout. You can either put it in the chat um, or I'll put my, uh, my Instagram in the chat and you can just reach out to me directly as well so we can focus on things that people actually want. Awesome job. Um, enjoy the rest of your Thursday and uh, hopefully I'll see everyone tomorrow. Great job, guys. Uh, any questions, just uh, call. Great job, Kyle from the East Coast, uh, Massachusetts. And of course, Q. Q did a great job too. Thank you. All right. Thank All right. You. See. You. Oh, we got a question here. Let's see. Ah, there's uh, Laurel's uh, Instagram. If you need me, you know where to find me. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Thanks, Laurel. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. That was fantastic.